Um, we can see there's a clear pattern for Chelsea, uh, playing down the left, trying to get Werner one against one with Kraft. We, we can see Alonso is, is underlapping, as you can say, uh, just to ca cause a little bit of confusion because Willock is not helping Kraft enough dealing with Werner and, and Alonso. Yeah. And th all their attacks, mm. the most dangerous attacks, have been coming down, down the left with uh, Werner linking well with Alonso. We talk about that diamond for Newcastle, it's just not working for them, is it? It's not giving their defence the support. Yeah, it, it's, it's not a, um, I mean a diamond. As you said, you know, it's just the position of, of Willock. So it's, it's really strange because he's trying, Almiron is trying to go on, uh, on Kovacic and the other one on, uh, uh, on um, uh, Jorginho. But uh, they, they leave too much space, and you can see Gale, you know, just staying up front. So that's a bit uh, strange the way they're defending. And once you have a uh, the, the technical abilities with Chelsea, you know, they can switch the play really quickly and they did it uh, all the time, you know, and either it's Werner leaking up on the left or as in Mount, you know, between the lines on the right. So uh, it, it's quite easy for, um, for Chelsea just to get quickly on the wider is and then get the crosses or dribble 1v1. You can see this one, you know, it's just, it's just pure power at the moment because it's just top. Uh, a Werner and just you know a, a explode and and, and crafting is not quick enough. So uh, yes, it's uh, you, you you can see a lot of spaces in that. Yeah, mm. you can see Alonso is going inside just to cause a little bit of disturb for Newcastle how to mark. But you you gotta stop the cross. I know Werner is sharp and quick first meters, but you you gotta throw your body there to make a tackle just to stop the cross because that's I don't know how many goals I, I, I don't have the stats, but. How many goals are scored in that in that area? And Giroud just waited there and, and just slots it in. It's too easy for Werner to get past Kraft to uh, to, to make a cross. And you you gotta do everything possible to to stop it, stop it at source. Yeah. How would you sum up Werner's game so far? But he's the same, you know. He's quite productive, you know. He's active. He's a he's energetic. You can see and and really dynamic, you know. He looks like a. A, a, a winger rather than <laughs> than a, a pure striker, you know. That, that penetration was a, a pure striker uh, uh, a run, but uh, yeah, on the left, you know, he's, he, he made a lot of damages uh, uh, against Newcastle. Eh? But he's playing with confidence now, isn't he? Yeah, it looks. I think the goal we're going to see in a minute will give him world of good. But he's 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 been active. He's been like he says, he's everywhere. Uh, I mean. There's a little bit of luck there, coming off a new, Newcastle defender and dropping to a space. But some, sometimes, you, as a striker, you just need that. Yeah. Need that <laughs> ball to drop for you, to get the goal and to open the floodgates. And, and this, like I said, this will do in world of good. Just to get it over the line. <laughs> it nearly doesn't, but yeah. um, question of handball there, well, I'm not they quite looked, sure. I mean, if it, it didn't divert the, the flight of the ball, no. did it? So. Whether it's a brush or not, if it's still handball, it's handball. It's yes, but I don't think you know it touched it. No. So on that angle, you know, we could uh, could be. Um, but on the other one, you know, we can see clearly that Giro. Mm. It, it's close, but he doesn't he doesn't touch it. And uh, and that's great for Werner just to be on the second post, you know, and uh, and to be opportunist, just to have that that, that flair, you know. And uh, and I hope you know, and we hope for him because. Mm. Is, uh, he puts so much effort into the games that uh, everybody in the Premier League wants him just to, uh, to score because he's got a positive attitude for his team. You know, he never gave up. You can see still getting his run. It's just, you know, in the top end of the pitch, you know, he has to be better. But uh, he, he will get there, you know. Right. Major controversy. Before all of that, was it a penalty or not? Contrasting views here. Did he Yes or no? Uh, f f for me, it was a pen. Uh, I know he's, he's touching the ball, but it's just the following through is quite strong for me. He's a bit late. He's taking the legs, everything, the ankle, and it's quite strong. So th th that's why for me it was a pen, even though you know he, he, he takes the ball. Out. Great run, great touch, but you can see the cells just touches the ball there. I know he followed through, and and but. I'm quite surprised coming from you as a defender because <laughs> this, this, this is a great tackle and 
he's stopping the goal scoring chance, obviously, but he gets the ball for me and it's not, it's not a pen. No, no, I, I understand you, Aaron. It, it's just, the, and the Premier League say, I don't know, Aaron will say uh, uh, later, but uh, it's just the, the way he's coming into the body of, uh, of Abraham. And, and for us, even, uh, even as a defender, you can see all over the pitch some tackles sometimes. People can touch the ball, but it's, it's the way the following through is. And I think he was late and because he doesn't control his power. For me, it's, it's, it's the step for Abraham because he, he's stepping into the cells. You know, he's, he's looking for that touch. He's, he, I know he's trying to protect the ball mm -hmm. and he touches him, but he gets the ball, obviously. Jamie yeah. Vardy does see. that, doesn't he? Jamie Vardy does That's that a lot yes. and he's clever in that way. That's why he gets so many pen penalties, Jamie Vardy, because yeah. he, he's clever. He sees the man coming and he, he makes that step just for the defender to touch him so he can actually go down and win a penalty. And he's, tr uh, by the looks of things, he's trying that. Yeah. Uh, Lascelles gets the ball. That, that's for me, that's why it's not a, not a penalty. Well, the Premier League have said Lascelles got the ball. No clear error to award a penalty. Earlier on tonight. Despite winning four of the five games since he took charge as our head coach, only one of our goals during that time has been scored by one of our strikers. Tammy Abraham's winning striker against Barnsley in our FA Cup fifth-round victory last time out. However, ahead of tonight's Premier League fixture against Newcastle United at Stamford Bridge, he insisted the responsibility for changing that statistic rests with him and the other members of the squad as much as it does with the forwards themselves, as they need to learn to play to the forwards' strengths to maximise their goal threat. It's my job to create spaces and create chances, and make everybody understand how our strikers love to have the ball, how they can be the most dangerous guys they can be, because they have quality. Now it's on us, on me and on their teammates, to create the chances that they can score. He also believes that arriving in West London at a time when he needs to focus on the players already here, without looking to the transfer market for answers, is helping him to see the possibilities within our squad, although that is still an ongoing process. We have guys here who can score, and the good thing in arriving in the middle of a season is you don't lose your head by thinking about other players. You focus all your energy in developing the potential that we have, and we have potential. Against Barnsley it was very hard to score because we had only nine touches in the box, it's way too few for what we demand of ourselves, and we clearly have to work on that. We need to push the numbers back up to where they were against Tottenham, against Sheffield United. From there I need to get to know the players a little better, but it comes every day, and then we will find maybe some formations where it's easier for us to score or to bring the strikers into good positions. Tuchel went on to discuss Abraham, the scorer of that FA Cup winner, having been particularly impressed by the determination and resilience displayed by the academy graduate throughout his career. He deserved to play this game at Barnsley. He had a difficult game against Burnley at home, he suffered from a tactical shift at halftime, and did not play against Tottenham and Sheffield United. That's why he deserved to play, because also he's a very positive guy, a very clear guy, very ambitious. I like that he made his way on loan. I like that he overcame obstacles in his career. When he went on loan he always scored for his teams, he was always there, and he has the spirit to make it at Chelsea. This is one of the toughest challenges that you can face, but he is ready for that. Against Barnsley he did a good match, because not only did he score the decisive goal, but he was also very important in defensive set pieces. He cleared many situations for us with his head, he was absolutely ready to suffer, and for that he has all my credit. It's a good new start for him to step up and show that he can be important.